going it's no joke corporate trading is horrible horrible how all the movement the order flow they can view price a lot clearer than we can it's not necessarily clearer but okay i see what you, what you mean concepts like liquidity learning concepts like border blocks psychological levels imbalances in the market all these technicals will help improve your trading because it starts to shift your mindset from a retailer to start to think where is the smart money going where do the banks want to push the money and how can i trade in that direction i'm not saying it's so, so so you got to understand the, the, the difference here, right? You got to remember that Forex is a, is, a, is, a, is a liquid market, which means it's not about where banks push money and stuff. It's in a liquid market, it can't, cannot be manipulated, right? It doesn't matter how much money gets pushed in, you cannot manipulate it. Not like a non-liquid market, which is like the stock market or cryptocurrency, where you can literally buy millions and it will um, influence the price and the direction of where price goes. It cannot happen in the, in the foreign foreign exchange market. So you got to remember that banks, institutions, hedge funds, they don't have the ability to move a a liquid liquid market. Easy. I'm not saying you will trade like the banks, but don't, I don't know. Again, I, I, why why would you want to trade like a bank? That's that's bad. You don't want to trade like them. They want to trade like us. Why would you want to trade like them? Give you a better probability. Than trading retail bullshit. See, no, see that that's in, and that, that's not nice. The last last uh, retail BS. No, that's incorrect, right? There's very very profitable retail traders out there. Like I said, they want to do what we do, but because of their job and and the rat race, they're incapable of doing that. And plus, because they're so much into their own systems and ways of doing things, and and it's a shame because I did um, scan Daniel's um, page. And there's a lot of very, very credible stuff on there. And I can really see that the young man's really trying to, to get there. He's got a good following on his Discord as well. Uh, but uh, one, one bit of advice, Daniel, if you're watching his video as well, don't have, you don't have to reply to every person that sends you a negative comment. You do you. You do you. If you're happy and you're successful doing what you do, then you continue to. Yeah. Yes, there are issues in some of your understanding and some of your learnings, uh, which which can be which can be worked on. Right. That just comes with experience. Uh, but don't have to reply to everybody, especially if there's if it's a concept that you're not entirely sure yourself. So good luck. Hope everything goes well in the in the future, Daniel. And look to looking forward to see more of your videos. And if